Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lazy Days Media Reacts, and I'm Ryan. I'm Stacy. And uh, thank you for returning for another reaction video. Really appreciate it. Um, been getting a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from you guys, specifically on the last video we did for Rambo. So yeah. really appreciate all of the comments and feedback. Um, I try my best to respond to all of them if I can, uh, but if I don't get to you guys, then I'm sorry, but uh, appreciate it nonetheless. Um, today we're going to be reacting to a different movie. We are going to do the Rambo series, however, I'm going to space it out a little bit so we're not overwhelmed with a bunch of Rambo. Um, but uh, just as an overall kind of, just, just an overall view of the first movie in the Rambo series, which is First Blood. Um, how did you feel? Again, just recapping think, that. Yeah, I think I went um, in depth on the last review, but I will say that I thought it was really great and I'm looking forward to watching the sequel, even though I said I'm not a fan yeah. of watching sequels. I'm really See. looking forward to that one. Yeah, we're going to explore that too. The the whole, she's not a fan of sequels, we're going to yeah. explore that with uh, different movie franchises. Um, yeah. Maybe next Halloween we'll get into horror movie sequels, hopefully we get to that point too. Um, but uh, today... Uh, again, instead of doing Rambo 2, um, immediately we're, we're going to do RoboCop, uh, which is, I swear I say this every single uh, video, is one of my favorites. Um, it's, it's directed by Paul Verhoeven. It's the guy who directed Starship Troopers. So it's very, um, very much tongue in cheek. Uh, it's uh, starring Peter Weller, which is a classic star. Uh, again, he's in a bunch of other movies that I love as well. We might get into those too. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and get into this. Robocop 1987. Um, let's just jump into the movie. Let's do it. This is Media Break. You give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Casey Long with Jess Perkin. Here at the Family Heart Center, we feature the complete charming line, Series 7 Sports Heart by Jensen Yamaha. You pick the heart, we care. Three dead police officers, one critically injured. <laughs> what? Police union leaders blame OCP, the firm which recently entered into a contract with the city to fund and run the Detroit Metropolitan Police Department. Officer Frank Fredrickson escaped and identified this man, Clarence Bodiker, unofficial <laughs> prime boss of Old Detroit. Good luck, Frank. <laughs> Is that the dad in the 70s show? Oh, the bad guy? Yeah. 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 I was like, I know that forehead, bald head <laughs> anyway. He's like the newscaster. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect transferring in from Metro South. Nice precinct. <laughs> it's a great idea. It's a fat lawsuit right there. 
I'm sure it's only a glitch. <laughs> Temporary setback. You call this a glitch? Perhaps you're aware of the Robocop program developed by myself at Security Concepts as a contingency against just this sort of thing? Get your step together, Mr. Ward. I'll expect a full presentation in 20 minutes. Thank you, sir. You fumbled the ball and I was there to pick it up. Too bad about Kenny, huh? I love how they're totally unfazed. I know, I know. Just like, mm, typical day at the office. But I love how it's like, <laughs> I love how the whole thing is set up. They started the elevator ride with three people, and they were all talking, and then they left it with two. Yeah. And they're just like, sad what happened to them. <laughs> Again, this movie plays heavy into its themes of corporatism, the urban areas being gentrified and made a better, cleaner place type of thing. This movie has a lot of those themes to it, and they play it really hard. close-ups in this scene it just makes it so tense so yeah you know. thing was so well filmed i love how it just cuts to the 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 point of view mm -hmm. of, of robocop as he kind of just awakens and experiences his first moments <laughs> Too, if I just saw it walking down the hall. Yeah, look at they're all like, like they're all like chasing it, trying to see what it is. Oh. Tastes like baby food. What are your prime directives? Serve the public 
trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. Directive 4 classified. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> the guy's loving it. <laughs> he was like
<laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I never thought about that. <laughs> The gallon. <laughs> she said it was like, I love these. These Twitter commercials are so funny because they're so accurate. <laughs> Freaking media. They're still on duty, but what about tomorrow? That's the question we put to people in the crime plague Lexington area. It's a free society, except there ain't nothing free. This is no guarantee, you know. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> All the jungle. <laughs> <laughs>
I like there's a lot of handheld to use in this where they didn't really use a lot of handheld back then. So I like how that there's a lot of handheld to use in this movie. As far as like the different camera work. Wow, that looks so real. Yeah, the effects are really well done. It's a show again. <laughs> Buy that for a dollar. Yeah. I guess the strike started. Whoa, in the sky! Can I play? Cobra assault cannon, state of the art, bang bang. The record crew is here! Where is that metallic moment? Not a fancy, just kill him. Finger bones are coming out of his skin. His skin is melting off of his finger bone. That's crazy. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness. That liquid, that liquid that was there. Oh. Alright, and we just finished RoboCop. Uh, how did you like it? <laughs> I thought it was really fun to watch. Um, I think it's just one of those classic things where you just love to watch the bad guy get caught. But I yeah. like that there was like a constant pull. It wasn't like an easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was... Um, I, I do think, too, what this movie has... like As far as... A, there's a lot of positives about this movie. Um, I think that it's tongue-in-cheek kind of way of going about its message is really interesting how they do that um, they have a lot of different uh, opinions throughout this movie um, obviously the main one being gentrification is is you know the changing of all that uh, and obviously privatizing military or privatizing police um, big corporations becoming a part of funding the police in regards to what their equipment is and stuff like that there's a lot that you could probably go into depth on uh, about this movie and kind of what its, uh, I guess, true meanings have behind it. However, again, uh, treating this movie as also um, just as an, an action movie. Yeah. Uh, it's a great action movie. Um, classic movie. Uh, I love the visual effects. Just like everything else, like script-wise, story-wise, it's very, like, out there. Um, the visual effects are out there too. Obviously, extreme gore when they get shot. 
uh, and and of course the effects on RoboCop were yeah, great. Yeah, I didn't get over how great that looked. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, even when I was staring at it, I was I was cringing a little bit. Yeah. I just, it looked so it's real. It's weird because you can't really tell. I mean, you, you you sit there and you think about it. You go, okay, obviously he has. It's all fake. Right. In the back. But when you look at it, the way it's it, layered yeah. and the way that it caves in and just the way that they approached the makeup on him is is so well done. Yeah, it genuinely looks like they pulled the face off of him and just yeah, stuck it onto it. Yeah, it really robot. looks really well. I think, again, uh, hats off to Peter Weller. I, I feel like Robocop is a very um, stoic and just like straightforward character, but he does a very good job in portraying um, slight emotion, just mm -hmm. small variations of what he does with his face uh with what we can see of his face so hats off to peter weller for that um as far as watching the sequels i don't know if we're gonna watch the sequels the second one is great is fine I, I like the second one a lot the third one is not so fine or great i'm not a fan <laughs> of the third one if you guys are i'm sorry if i offend you but uh definitely not a fan of the third one they actually got a different person to play robocop no, in the third one i hate um, when movies or shows do that when they replace is somebody I mean, yeah, yeah it's yeah it, it, it he he has some very similar similar uh likeness to him but it's not the same at all yeah. and, and it's not it, it's just not the same type of movie as well it kind of goes into more just full-on action movie rather than tongue-in-cheek has a little bit of um you know things to say about society um but yeah, I, I really love this movie. I think again, one of my favorite things too about it is is their their view on society and, and like what society likes or wants through their um, like through the the news mm -hmm. parts where they show the, the cuts of the yeah. news and then they show the cuts of like the TV show that people are oddly yeah. fascinated with. Uh, and, and I think that's so <laughs> funny because. Throughout the movie, you, when you see that TV show, that stupid TV show, you're like, what the fuck are they yeah. laughing at? I don't understand what they're <laughs> laughing at. And then when it comes up down the line, you've seen it so much, and I feel like it's so ingrained yeah. that I was actually laughing at the TV you show. Like, I feel like it. Yeah, I feel like I was losing my mind. <laughs> um, but it's it's funny to think just like what, it, what the message is or what it has to say about society through just those news clips. And, and it's great exposition they use for the movie, but um, it does say a lot about society and, and as far as like you know what what people want what people want to see what people want to do and things right. like that i mean yeah, they had that that nukem game so they had like again these little tidbits that are just so awesome mm -hmm. um very much along the lines of like starship troopers which is why i love that movie <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys for watching uh again I will say this in probably most of the movies, definitely a top film right there. Um, good, good, uh, good action film. I'm glad you liked it. Um, if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button below. Uh, Give it a subscribe up. for more because we will be putting some more out. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to comment below, you know, uh, any tidbits or anything like that, or just have a conversation about the movie, that'd be awesome. I, I love interacting with the comments there. Um, but other than that, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's Taj of Lazy Days Podcast. Perhaps you've heard of me. We first of all want to thank you all for tuning into our channel. So just make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you tune into our new videos. Check out the podcast every Tuesday on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, on Anchor, wherever you get your podcasts. Baby.